Good morning, folks. The third hottest summer for the United States on record, even while the southeast and northwest were slightly below average. You remember July was the hottest month ever recorded, following the previous 12 months being the warmest year ever recorded, not to mention the drought which has not been mitigated by a week of intermittent rain and a tropical storm. Occupy China might not be as serious as what we saw here in Canada or the EU, but it would taste a lie to say I didn't enjoy watching them fight for what their hearts believe. Days of severe flooding in Pakistan have left almost 80 people dead, and that number is expected to rise. There's serious concern that a disposal tank for radioactive waste may be leaking chemicals into the environment in Washington state. And in Japan, 200 kilometers from Fukushima, they're finding dangerously high radioactive cesium levels in the bed of a river delta. We took the first four-pointer on the Northeast Caribbean plate since the Costa Rica quake. We also had a 3.9 in Nevada, a moderate tremor in Australia, and a 3.5 on the exact line Hurricane Leslie will track. She's missed Bermuda and will miss Nova Scotia mostly, but St. John's and the eastern coastal areas are under major watch right now. A direct hit is upcoming. Asia got about 10 days off, but it appears that yet another level 4 typhoon will be on their doorstep by the weekend. Folks, this is an uncommon article. Jupiter flashed and they caught it on camera. The story says asteroid impact. Anyone else thinking plasma discharge a la Thunderbolts project? Maybe. You can see a new gamma burst up top there. It came out of the constellation Cassiopeia around 700 UTC. Slight change to the Earth footprint. Yesterday's connection is on the right. You can see it is less grainy and more clear than today's connection on the left. Yesterday, the connection was on the Earth-facing side, but today we're connected just around the corner on the back. That's the difference. Speaking of facing away from Earth, it is very good that wasn't facing us. That was a massive eruption. Anyway, assuming you didn't just find this channel and you speak English, you might have known that Mercury was set to geocentrically conjoin the Sun yesterday, and so it did. But as it did so, we saw a solar event that I personally have never seen. I've seen filaments dissociate and reassemble, fly off in every direction, but I've never seen one eject and then dive back in. Stereo A with the Earth off to the left, you can see that energy surge did expel coronal particles, even without the filament herself. There is actually a chance we could take a glancing blow from this. Last but not least, eyeing our new sunspots in 11569 turning in from the southeastern limb, no one needs to either relabel this as two separate active regions or change the magnetic class from beta to beta gamma. Last 24 hours of the sun, I see lots of dark coronal holes, but no evidence yet of their earthly effects. It's about 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's what we await, folks. That's the news. Be safe.